So to balance this equation, we have barium nitrate and sodium carbonate. This is a double displacement reaction. The barium and the sodium, they change places. And we're going to use a little bit of a trick to make this easier. We have this polyatomic ion. This is called the nitrate ion. We have one here and we have it here. So we're going to count the nitrate as one thing. And the carbonate, we have it here. It stays together in the chemical reaction. We have it here as well. We'll count it as one thing. Makes it a lot easier to balance these double displacement reactions. Let's count the atoms up. One barium, one nitrate times two, we have two of those, two sodium atoms, and then the one carbonate, the CO3. On the product side, one barium, one nitrate, one sodium, and then the one carbonate. So we can see that we need to double our nitrates. Let's put a two in front of the sodium nitrate. So we have one nitrate times two, that's balanced. And then we have one sodium times two. So we have two sodium atoms. Those are balanced and we're done. This equation's balanced. You can see the utility of counting these polyatomic ions as just one item if they show up on both sides. It makes the balancing really quite a bit easier. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for BaNO32 plus Na2CO3. Thanks for watching.